Greetings everyone. Banu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 2nd January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court Constitution Bench has by 4 is to 1 majority upheld the central government's decision in 2016 to demonetize the currency notes of rupees 500 and rupees 1000 denominations and held that the notification was valid and satisfies the test of proportionality. Justice B R Gavai observed that demonetization had a reasonable nexus with the objectives and it is not relevant whether the objective was achieved or not however justice bv nagaratna in her dissenting opinion observed that though demonetization was well intentioned it has to be declared unlawful on legal grounds the supreme court is set to officially launch the electronic supreme court reports project today to provide the digital version of the supreme court's judgments in the manner as they are reported in supreme court reports news highlights from the high courts starting with the jammu and kashmir and ladakh high court The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court while dismissing a habeas corpus petition has held that failure on the part of detaining authority to supply a translated copy of detention order does not vitiate the detention. The High Court has observed that cause of action in an insurance case can also accrue on the date the claim lodged by the insured is repudiated by the insurance company. The High Court has held that If a private entity is amenable to writ jurisdiction the powers of judicial review are confined to actions which have an element of public duty involved news highlights from the bombay high court the bombay high court while rejecting an appeal filed by lieutenant colonel prasad shrikan prohit seeking discharge in the case of 2008 maligaon blast that killed 6 and injured over 101 people has held that causing bomb blast is not an official duty therefore does not require sanction from the army the bombay high court has made e filing of new criminal cases arbitration petitions and civil contempt petitions mandatory from january 9 2023 e filing of new cases in these classes would include all responses replies rejoinders miscellaneous documents and all applications this concludes the news for today thank you so much